Hello, my name is Lance Cooper, Product Manager for Pressure and Temperature Process Instruments at SOR Incorporated. In this presentation, I will review the functionality of the solid state switch output of the 805QS. Let's get started by highlighting some of the form and features of the 805QS. Here it is. Note the stick form factor, which is ideal for applications where space is limited. The 805QS is a compact, explosion-proof, loop-powered electronic pressure switch that is suitable for hazardous locations and hostile environments. It is housed in a 316 stainless steel housing with hermetically sealed electrical switching elements and factory sealed leads that are color coded and marked. The normally open solid state switch is rated to 30 volt and 120 milliamps with an accuracy of plus minus 2% of the upper range limit. If the 805QS loses power, the switch contact will open indicating a fault condition. Stated another way, the 805QS has a fail-safe state of open. In addition to the solid state switch output, the 805QS also provides a supplemental continuous output, either 4 to 20 milliamp or 1 to 5 volt DC. Lastly, the discrete and continuous outputs of the 805QS are independent from each other. Now let's get to the purpose of this presentation. I want to give you a closer look at the functionality of the normally open solid state switch output. The 805QS switch output can be configured three different ways. Your application requirement will determine what configuration option you choose. This diagram depicts the windowed or default switch point type. The functionality is simple. The switch is off or opened when the process pressure is less than the switch low set point or if the process pressure is greater than the switch high set point. On the other hand, the switch is on or closed when the process pressure varies between the low and high set points. This window could be set for an acceptable operating range of 20 PSI to 80 PSI. In this case, the switch will be closed when the pressure being monitored is between 20 and 80 PSI. If the pressure goes below 20 PSI or above 80 PSI, the switch will open. To gain a better understanding of this unique window application, I will briefly describe two examples. The first example will focus on an application for which the 805QS is well suited. The second example will focus on an application for which the 805QS is not a good option. Example number one, if you work for an energy production company and you need precise wellhead pump control and fail-safe shutdown capability, then the 805QS is an excellent choice. It is perfectly suited for this specific application because it is able to provide a 4 to 20 milliamp continuous output which can serve as the primary input to the pump controller and the switch output can serve as an emergency fail-safe device. The switch can send a shutdown signal to the pump controller or a PLC or DCS if a maximum allowable pressure is exceeded or if the pressure falls below a minimum threshold. At first glance, it may seem that the 805QS offers adjustable dead band functionality. That is not the case. You would not use an 805QS to control an air compressor. Instead, you should use an SOR mechanical pressure switch with an adjustable dead band. We have looked at the window or default configuration for the 805QS switch output. As I mentioned earlier, the 805QS can be configured three different ways. So let's take a look at the other two configurations. Here is the second diagram. It shows the single point opened closed switch point type. If the switch is off, open, it will close when the pressure of the media reaches the set point and will remain on closed as long as the pressure is greater than the set point. When the pressure of the media decreases to the set point, the switch will turn off. 
That is to say, the switch will return to its original state. This switch functionality can be used to perform a shutdown if the pressure falls below a minimum threshold. This final diagram shows the single point, closed, opened switch point type. If the switch is on or closed, it will open when the pressure of the media reaches the set point and will remain off or open as long as the pressure is greater than the set point. When the pressure of the media decreases to the set point, the switch will turn on. That is to say, the switch will return to its original state. This switch functionality can be used to perform a shutdown if the maximum allowable pressure is exceeded. The switch set points are set at the factory per the customer's specification. However, both the switch set points and the zero span set points can be adjusted in the field using the SOR optional calibration kit. So let's summarize the principal features of the 805 QS. It offers a configurable solid state switch that is rated to 30 volts and 120 milliamps with an accuracy of plus minus 2% of the upper range limit. In consideration of the set point tolerance, SOR recommends the use of latching logic in conjunction with the 805QS. The 805QS also provides a supplemental continuous output, either 4 to 20 milliamp or 1 to 5 volt DC. The discrete and continuous outputs are independent of each other. The switch output can be configured three different ways and the failsafe state of each configuration is the open state. This concludes my presentation. For detailed information on the 805 QS and other best-in-class pressure, temperature, level, and flow process instruments, visit SORinc.com and contact your local sales representative. Thanks for watching.